the newly established Indian Deep Space Network, having 18 and 32 meter antennae at Bailalu, near Bangalore, is a very unique facility, having several critical technologies established for the first time in the country. The 32 meter antenna and the associated electronic equipment have been designed and developed for ISRO by Electronic Corporation of India Limited, ECIL. ISRO Satellite Center supplied the feed subsystem. On-site installation and commissioning are executed by ISRO Telemetry and Tracking Command Center, ISTRAC. Operating in S and X bands, the 32 meter antenna is capable of receiving extremely weak signals from the spacecraft, which are millions of kilometers away from Earth in deep space, and can also send very strong signals to the spacecraft. An 18 meter diameter antenna working in S and X bands will also support the mission. The Indian Deep Space Network antennae can be operated remotely from ISTRAC Network Control Center at Bangalore through a monitoring and control system. As Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft travels into deep space, mid-course corrections will be carried out as and when required. When the spacecraft is about 500 kilometers from the lunar surface, a major maneuver called Lunar Orbit Insertion, LOI, is performed. Chandrayaan-1 will achieve its final moon orbit 20 days after the launch. After this, Chandrayaan-1 will enter into an elliptical orbit around the moon, with the nearest point being about 500 kilometers from the lunar surface, and farthest point being about 5,000 kilometers. After the subsequent health checks, the spacecraft's orbital height is planned to be lowered through a series of planned maneuvers to achieve the target altitude of 100 km circular polar orbit over the surface of the Moon. After reaching operational polar orbit, the payloads will be commissioned one by one. The first to be commissioned is the Moon Impact Probe, MIP, a technology demonstrator. It will be released at the earliest opportunity once operational orbit has been reached. After its release from the spacecraft, the retro rocket of MIP will be fired and it will slowly start its descent to the lunar surface. During the descent, MIP's video imaging system will acquire images of the surface of the moon. The mass spectrometer will measure the constituents of thin lunar atmosphere and the radar altimeter will provide instantaneous altitude and hence give inputs for future Indian soft landing missions. Thereafter, MIP will impact on an identified area in the south polar region of Moon. The payloads on Chandrayaan-1 are engineered to acquire scientific information on the Moon through remote sensing in the visible near infrared, microwave, low and high energy X-ray regions of the electromagnetic spectrum.